Welcome back, everybody. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon, he's a little yellow belly slider turtle. He's hanging out in the van. But today we're on a ferry on our way to Seattle. Let's go upstairs where you guys can hear us. There's a lot of sitting area, places to relax. A lot of people use this to commute back and forth to work. Hey, we're right here at Seattle Fabrics, right here in Seattle, Washington. The reason we came over here is to get some Gore-Tex material for the van. So let's go look around, see what we can find. I'm very excited. Well, after looking around the store, this is what Steph picked out. So I went with this color because I think it goes really nice with the cream paint and the sea glass and the back and the white walls that we now have with the ceiling. So yeah, I'm very happy with the color and I'm very happy with the material. This doesn't even have to be in the washer, so we're not going to buy a zipper or anything. And uh, yeah, because this is like... Gore-Tex, so you're just going to spot clean it just like you would a nice rain jacket. After leaving Seattle Fabrics, we headed downtown to go explore the Space Needle. We found some free boondocking right here in the city with free parking, and I think we're going to end up staying here the night. We walked about 15 minutes to the Space Needle to the base. Well, we made it to the Space Needle. We're gonna head up to the ticket booth. I got my tickets online. They were $75 for the two of us. So let's go see what we have to do to get up to the top, guys. So we'll bring you with us. All right. Well, we made it through security, no problem. We're basically on top of the... Uh, they're checking Steph's bag just to make sure. No big deal. Every time cell phones, right? Well, I guess up here at the top, we get a little bit of history and we'll walk through here and check it out. Just gonna walk slowly and let you check out this progression of how this was built. The Space Needle officially opened the first day of the World's Fair. During the expo, the tower hosted an estimated 2.65 million visitors. Amongst the visitors were world celebrities including Elvis Presley, Prince Phillips of Great Britain, Bobby Kennedy, Walter Cronkite, John Wayne, Bob Hope, Chubby Checkered, Billy Graham, John Glenn, Neil Armstrong, Lyndon Johnson, Walt Disney, and scores of others. The mass that originally topped the sculpture was a natural gas torch that was lit up at night in rainbow colors. Pretty good, yourself? All right. They're awesome. Uh huh. All right.
good deal. All right, guys, we're gonna head up the elevator. Thank you, thank you. All to ourselves. Oh, wow. Check stuff out. All right. Good deal. And a private elevator ride at sunset. Can you get any better? I don't All think so. <laughs> awesome. well, welcome to the Space Needle, folks. Thanks. This is only going to take about 41 seconds. Going up 520 feet, 10 miles per hour. You're facing west, it'll be a little bright. That is Elliott Bay, appearing behind the Pacific Science Center. And now it's gone. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Elliott Bay has uh, 73 orca whales. It also has the second biggest passenger ferry fleet in the world. And it has the world's biggest octopus species, the giant Pacific. So we are very good at world stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave you at the highest level you can go. There's glass all the way around and benches that lean you against the glass if you're thrill seekers like me. There's also a cafe and wine bar up there. Then you can head downstairs to the world's first and only revolving glass floor. It's the last world thing we have. And that's where the exits are. So when you're ready to leave, please don't come back to me on the upper level here. I will tell you. Go downstairs. Have fun. Thank you so much. Thank uh -huh. you. And there's the ferry that we came into Seattle on. Same thing. Well, we ordered some food from the little restaurant up here. We figured you could only have dinner in the Space Needle once, so we might as well get it. So we went all out and go ahead, Mike, and tell them what we got. Clam chowder, fries, and what's that sandwich? This is a dragonous crab melt and it looks delicious. And we will flip you around so you can get a close up of it and see how good this food is. It's just as good as the view. And here's our crab melt, which looks oh so yummy and packed with veggies. French fries, clam chowder, and the most epic view. Tonight we're having food from the ocean and the sky. How wonderful. What an epic experience. Very nice. I don't know how many times we'll be doing this, but I think it's so amazing that we're eating seafood in the sky. <laughs> Is there anything from this remodel from the old Space Needle? 
um, like the remodel we just did a couple years ago. Most of it is original. The only parts that changed were the outer deck where the glass all was. Um, and the second level used to be a restaurant instead of the glass bowl. But everything else is all awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now we're in the um, gift shop. Yeah. Well, if you don't know, Steph collects smash pennies from all the places we go. So last year when we were here, I think she got a penny, but she's going to get another one here today at the Space Needle. I'm going to get this one because it goes sideways, and if you get a souvenir penny book, that's how they store it. All right. Good deal. Here she goes. There we go. Add that to the collection, Steffi. Looks good. Well, everybody, we made our way down from the Space Needle right here in the gift shop. An amazing day. I hope you enjoy going up there as much as we did. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. More content on Patreon. And as always, Thank you so much for coming, and we want to give a huge shout out to Bob and Wanda for making this all possible. Thank you so much, everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night.